My name is Dave Boisvert, and I'm the engineering manager at Phoenix Controls in charge of all the engineering functions, and I've been here about 18 years. Valve characterization is the process that Phoenix Controls uses to verify every single valve that's built throughout the manufacturing process. We take every valve, we mount it on an air station, and we run it through a rigorous characterization process which verifies that everything and all of the tolerances are right where we want them to be and that guarantees us a plus or minus 5% tolerance on every valve that we ship. As soon as the valve is fully built and fully assembled, it then gets walked to the air stations and at those air stations it gets connected in the same configuration that it's gonna be in, used in the field. We then connect all the electrical connections and run a full operational test similar to how the customer would operate the valve in the field. At that point, the valve then begins with min and max verifications of flows to make sure that it's actually meeting the full requirements and specifications of the valve. Then we take that valve and we run it all the way through every flow throughout the entire range of that product and verify that the entire product goes through and meets a 5% validation of that flow. Only if the valve passes that test can it then be taken off the air station and put into the final assembly area and shipped. Twice a year, we take every air station in production and engineering, and that amounts to eight air stations, and we run them through a very rigorous process where we have NIST certified Venturis that are all placed on the air station, and we validate the entire flow of the air station. We also have annual calibrations of every single humidity, temperature, pressure, instrument that's on the air station and in addition to all of that we have a daily golden valve test and a golden valve is just a valve that we already know what the flow is we take that valve and we run it on the air station and if it doesn't pass that air station that day the air station will not operate and it will shut down and an engineer would have to come out and investigate what the situation is the customer's main benefits for from having all of the process done that we do at phoenix controls is number one and most predominant is safety we want to make sure that the scientists, that the medical professionals, that all of the people that work in these facilities really have the safest product out there. Secondary to that is energy. We want to make sure that they're saving the most amount of energy because it is extremely costly to run these types of facilities. And the third major benefit is we want to make sure that the product goes out of here the highest quality possible. That's why we spend the additional time to run this test on these air stations to make sure that what we send out is exactly what the customer expects.